Cool. Hey, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Great. Good, good, good. Okay. Well, as your father probably told you, my name is Scott Foley, and I am a motivational speaker and web hosting guru. <laughs> In this episode of Hosted, we'll talk SSL certificates. Oh, and also living in a van down by the river. <laughs> and stick around for some key tips on installing a certificate by my good friend Omar. He's a regular Bill Gates over here. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Live from the internet, it's Saturday night. <laughs> Oh man, when I was a kid, it was my dream to be a cast member on SSL. I just love comedy and like uh, Scott, performing. That's, yeah, what? That's SNL, Saturday Night Live. This is SSL, Secure Sockets yeah. Layer. Yeah, no, I know that. I was going to use that joke as my SNL audition. Anyway, SSL or Secure Sockets Layer is a technology that encrypts data being passed between a web browser and a server. This prevents any potential hacker from stealing this information in transit. And even if they did, they wouldn't be able to decipher it. And it would just look like a bunch of random letters and numbers. <laughs> an SSL certificate is basically some code and an encryption key you install on your site that handles the transfer and encryption of the data to and from the server. It's not like an actual paper certificate. That would be dumb. I mean, <laughs> who would have ever thought that? <laughs> like, how could a paper certificate actually secure all my information? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's dumb. <laughs> Once you have an SSL certificate installed on your site, the data being transferred to and from your site is secure, your visitors' and customers' data will be protected, you, the owner, will be verified as the owner, and your URL will now be upgraded from HTTP to HTTPS, with the S standing for secure, which is also something that should be so, super obvious. And if you didn't know that out right away, you'd be also dumb for that one. <laughs> The addition of the S is particularly important in this day and age, as many web browsers like Chrome will actually produce a warning if a site doesn't have an SSL certificate. This dramatically affects your visitors' trust and their willingness to visit, engage with, or spend money on your site. There are three main levels of SSL certificates. Domain validation certificates verify that the same person owns the domain name and the SSL certificate, is available to businesses and individuals, and oftentimes comes free with hosting plans. Organization validation certificates actually verify you own the domain, verify the business is a real registered business, and is only available to registered businesses, not individuals. And finally, extended validation certificates also verify the domain and business ownership, but add additional layers of validation, and are also only available to businesses. The result is a higher level of trustworthiness, and a browser will often display a fully green URL bar. That's fun. Yeah. 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 Bottom line, I definitely suggest getting an SSL installed. A domain validation certificate should suffice for your basic portfolio sites, but if you want to start collecting customer data, have a membership-based site, or you're selling stuff and processing payment, you will want to and might even be required to get a higher level of certificate. Seems simple enough, but how do I get one? Well, Omar is much more better articulate at explaining technical jumbo mumbo, so I'll let him answer. Hey, Omar. Hey, Scott. Two questions. So, one, how do I install a fancy certificate? And two, like, they're not actually made of, made of paper, right? Good question, Scott. And no, SSL certificates are not made out of paper. If you have a shared or workplace plan, it's easy. You just contact support and we do it for you. With the higher levels of hosting we offer, you can actually install an SSL certificate inside your web host manager, known as your WHM. Once you're inside the WHM, you can locate the SSL TLS icon. At this point, select your SSL and we will email you what's called an RSA key and a CA bundle that includes an SRT. Enter the SRT into the first field, the RSA key into the second field, and the CA bundle in the last field. And congratulations, you have now installed your SSL. The new certificate should begin to work immediately and you may view your site using HTTPS to confirm the SSL. Cool, thanks Omar. So there you have it. Well, if you're familiar with the acronym KISS, then you'll understand my rule of thumb on whether or not to install an SSL certificate. Kizzles. Keep it secure sockets layer, stupid. <laughs> Get one. In our next episode, my actual SNL audition tape. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. Oh, Mike, what's your favorite SNL character? 
Oh gosh, I really like Will Ferrell as James Lipton. Oh, classic. I yeah, mean, just the drawn-in beard the, and the stack of question cards. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, he couldn't be here tonight because he is dead. Ha ha ha! Gets me. Gets me. Everything. Oh, it's classic. So good. <laughs>